Hey guys, I hope you're ready for lots of cleaning motivation. I'm going to be cleaning two houses over three or four days. I'll be cleaning my house and then my parents' house. So a lot jam-packed into this video and a super, super yummy crock pot meal that we loved. So let's get ready and let's do this together. Welcome to Jamie's journey. I hope this is a space where you feel motivated and you just feel like this is a space where you belong. I have an amazing community here and I would love for you to be a part of it. I promise you I have the best community here on YouTube. Everyone is just truly so great. But I am actually filming this part on Halloween. You'll see me when I go downstairs. I had this like spooky or Christmas Halloween music on the TV. I had the fire going and the girls are at school this morning and you guys know when the twins are in school, they're only in school for two days a week for a couple of hours at a time. That is my go time. So I was like, I got some stuff I have to do. I'll film it. I don't know if I'll end up using this footage, but this was on Halloween. And I just was kind of going around and getting things picked up. Halloween was on a Monday and typically Sundays are just more, I definitely do things to prep myself for the week, but it's not unusual for me to do very little cleaning on Sundays. And so the house was messy and I wanted to get it all cleaned up before the fun Halloween festivities. when I started earlier I almost said Christmas over Halloween because Halloween now when you're watching this and when I'm doing my voiceovers Halloween seems like it was so long ago and now everyone's in Christmas mode and to be honest with you I'm really not in Christmas mode at all like at all a lot of you guys know we're gonna, we're moving and it will be around mid-December. And so I don't really plan on decorating for Christmas. And I'm just not in that headspace for Christmas because I think I'm more focused on moving over Christmas. I am shopping, like trying to get all my Christmas shopping done early. But I just, my, my, my headspace is not in Christmas. It's just more on moving and all of that and not the holidays. But I'm just seeing so much um, of Christmas, like, everywhere I go and it's also weird because it's been so warm here. I live in northwest Ohio and Halloween is pretty cold typically. I mean there's been times where it's been snowing on Halloween and you guys it has hit 70 a couple days this week and that is insane for northwest Ohio. Like we usually have measurable snow by like late November. To give you an idea so it's been so warm lately our halloween was so warm it was crazy
The girls had obviously gotten home from school. They get home right before lunchtime, so Mike and went and picked them up on his lunch break, and I got their lunch ready. And I don't want to promise because I don't want to let you guys down, but right now we do have a meeting with our builder over at the new house. No kids. It's going to be during school here in two days. So I should have a home update, a home tour in Sunday's video, November 13th. I'm going to try. I can't promise you because obviously something could happen, but right now we do have an appointment and I'm planning on taking my camera. So mark your calendars. So a lot of you guys know I'm at my parents' home and I'm gonna do some cleaning this evening. They went to dinner with some friends. I have my comfy jammies on. It's a little chilly outside. I have no distractions, no kids, no one here. I'm going to clean their house in peace. Here in a little bit, I'm gonna test out my new Karcher window vac on the shower glass doors in my parents' bathroom. So make sure you stick around until then. So my parents house is obviously newer they moved in in march of 2020 and i thought it would be interesting so like i'm sitting here watching myself clean their sink it's a one bowl sink i don't know if that's typical or that's really what it's called a one bowl sink but my sink that we have in our home is divided and our in the new house we will have the one sink and i'm really excited about it i hate a divided sink and the reason why this is kind of interesting is because I think I had said that in another video about how we would have one sink. Oh, really quickly, do you see those little um, black spots in the bottom of the sink there on the corners? I think that's from the little rack they have in the bottom of their sink. Well, well I couldn't, I've could. i never been able to get it out. And when I came this time, I had brought my bar keeper's friend. So I wanted to see if that would get those spots out of the sink. And it did. Barkeeper's friend is such a great cleaner. But anyways, someone else had, asked, I think I had said that we were getting a one bowl sink before in another video. And someone said, they were kind of laughing because they're like, now I have a one bowl sink and I want a double sink. So I don't know if it's one of those you always want what you don't have, that type of thing. But I hate the double sink because it's hard when I'm like, washing dishes like a big pan or something I just feel like it's harder to clean those big dishes or whatever but here I was going to let the grates soak and I just put one um, dish detergent tab and I was going to let it soak in the sink with hot water So usually when I go over to clean my parents' house, um, I'll ask them like what they want me to do. And my mom asked if I could clean their carpets because as you can see, they get pretty dirty. I love the white, but obviously because it's white and this is right where people walk in, it gets pretty dirty. But my Bissell Pro Heat Pro Pet Carpet Cleaner did a really, really good job in getting it all up. Now under their 
rug, which you cannot see. They have a waterproof liner, but if you do this at home, I would highly suggest putting a waterproof liner under or like plastic if you can, um, but theirs already had the, the waterproof liner underneath. So let's share, well, I'll share my high point and my low point to the week here in a minute, but I want to ask those questions because I'm cleaning the stovetop and it was also not 1030 when I'm doing this and the date was not right. So I don't want you guys thinking I'm cleaning at 1030 PM at my parents' house. But anyways, um, you know, the little things and I don't know terms, but the, the burners, the gas burners, you ha obviously have to take them off. Like I took off those like that looks like a stainless steel piece. And then on top of that, there's like a little black cover that goes on the actual gap where the gas comes out, if that makes sense. Like, do you have to be careful how you clean those? Or even here, like in the little holes where the gas, the flame comes out, like do you have to be careful getting cleaner down there or does it not really matter? Obviously the, the stovetop is turned off, but I'm saying like, do you have to be careful about that? I don't love my gas cooktop stove I don't because you get the smallest things on there and then it burns and it it's just a pain to clean but I do like that I can just spray or use whatever cleaners I want and I don't have to worry about it getting into like a crack or crevice or anything like that so that's my question do I have to be careful with how I clean around where the flame comes out um do you guys have any tips or tricks for cleaning a gas stovetop let me know if you guys have any suggestions or how you do it. Even the grates, this is what I came across online is taking a dishwashing tab or a laundry tab and soaking it in hot water. But do you have a better way of how you clean yours? So to clean their cabinets, I was using my O Cedar Spin Mop. My mom had actually requested that I clean their cabinets for them. And this is just like the quickest way to do it. So I just used one teaspoon of powdered Tide laundry detergent in my mop bucket with as hot water as I could from the tap. And oh, if you notice that, see how my mom has a towel in their dishwasher? Here's a little hack. 
You know how sometimes your dishes can still be a little bit wet when you're done running a, a load? If you take a towel and you put it in the door and then shut the door, let it sit for a little while and that towel will absorb any extra moisture in your dishwasher. So to clean up here, just like I did with the stovetop, I was using the Scrub Daddy Power Paste. That stuff is amazing. It's so good. And it just gets any grease or stuck on grime off of both areas. Okay, so let's talk the high point to my week and the low point to my week. So the high point to my week was I got to meet my newest niece. So Mike's sister had a baby, a baby girl, Callie, and um, Mike only has one sibling and she already has a daughter, which is, she's, um, Cora is the twins age. She's two months, only two months older than the twins. So in Mike's family, it's all girls. We are a girl gang. We're taking over. So yes, we finally got to go meet Callie. Um, Mike's sister lives about an hour and 15 minutes north of us and there were some slight complications after birth like nothing serious or anything so we weren't able to see her for about a week and a half so finally we got to go up there and see her and hold her and the twins were so cute. Avery was so Avery and Emery were so excited. Addison held her but Avery just had the biggest smile on her face. She thought it was really cool so that was exciting. And the other high point to my week was I started packing finally. And it's hard because I almost just want to go and pack everything, you know, because I just want to start packing. But we still have about another four weeks or so. So I'm trying to be smart about what I'm packing when I'm not. But I at least started. So we are getting the ball rolling. So I will share my low point to the week and honestly I don't think it's really like that bad of a low point to the week but I kind of off my workout fitness game. I got sick well our whole family got really sick last week I think. A GI bug took us all out I mean, I was throwing up and everything and I obviously was not working out and then I was really weak afterwards so I didn't work out most of last week and then coming into this week I worked out I think on Saturday Friday and Saturday and that's really been it and for me working out improves my mood it's my therapy I always feel good and it just it allows me to just go not think about anything and I find that when I'm in the routine of working out, it's easy to stick with it. But when I get off the routine, it, whether it's for vacation, I'm sick, it's harder to get back. Like I am such a regimented person, a root regimented and routine person that when I'm in the routine, it's hard for me to stop because it's just what I do. But then when I get out of the routine, it's harder for me to get back into it. So I'm trying to get back into it 
but I know that my body needed the break, so I'm trying to slowly get back into it. So here um, I'm cleaning out the Bissell carpet cleaner, and the reason why I really like this is because it's really easy to clean. So you just pop off that top cover, and there's actually two covers that you just pop off. You have those little green buttons that you push down. The second cover comes off, and then you can easily and quickly wipe down the brushes, the rollers, and get any loose fur or dust or whatever's in there out. And that's why I like it, because it's really easy to clean and it also does a good job at cleaning. There's a lot of things that my parents have in their current home that we will have in our new home. So the gas stovetop, the one bowl kitchen sink, and then our shower will be very similar to theirs. It will be tile with grout, clear glass doors, and all of that. And while I'm excited to have no shower tracking, like, you know, we have the shower door with the tracking, and that is such a pain. It's so gross. I hate the shower door tracking. We will have a lot of grout. So... I've been doing a lot of research and you have to be careful with the grout um, because you have the, the tile. And so you have to be careful of what you use. And um, the Zep grout cleaner that I've used before in my home, I know that comes highly recommended, but a lot of people say a steam cleaner. And um, so I wanted to try that out this time. There's even like another more heavy duty steam cleaner that I've seen a lot of cleaning companies use in their showered in their showers so um, I don't think I need another cleaning tool I think I have plenty so I don't know I think when I when I move in the first thing when I clean it I'm gonna see how well the the steam cleaner does but I'm telling you the steam cleaner is just such a all-around great cleaning tool to have I use it in so many different areas I feel like between that and the Rubbermaid Power Scrubber. Those are two little tools that I think make a big difference. And then this little fancy tool I recently tried out on my channel, it's called the Karcher, I believe that's how you say it. I don't think it's made in the US. I think it's pretty common in other countries. I could be wrong. You can share with me if you use it and what country you live in, but it's a window vac. So you spray, it comes like with a little tool, you put the, cl the cleaner in there and then you do what I'm doing, wipe down the window or mirror or door, whatever, and then you take it and you just go down and it vacuums up the excess liquid. And I wanted to try it here because I knew that, well, in our new house, we have a lot more windows than we have in our current home. And then we're gonna have shower glass doors like this. And I was pretty shocked. It did a really, really good job. Now with cleaning shower doors with anything, there's usually multiple steps. So I went in 
and you know used a cleaner then I wiped it all down and then I used this but I would say this was the best I've seen it look and so I really really like this it's expensive I think it was a little over a hundred dollars but the reason why I felt like it was okay to get is because I know we're gonna have a lot of windows in our new home um, off of our living room and then in the kitchenette area and that looks it, it's a beautiful view it overlooks a pond and so I know I'm gonna want those windows to be very clean or as clean as I can get them and so I thought this would be a good investment well this might be my favorite new combo <laughs> and I'm really excited because we have glass doors in the new house but I feel like this is about the closest I've gotten them to really really clean and that barkeeper's friend and the glass cleaner took all of that soap scum off very very easily with very minimal scrubbing there was a lot right here too like down here where it splatters up so even got it all up here kind of nice um you know i go to my parents house and i clean for them they appreciate it so much they love it when i go over and clean for them and it's just they watch my girls a lot um mike and i we both grew up around our grandparents both of our grandparents and i remember going and spending the night at my grandparents house and we were both just very close to both sets of our grandparents and that is one of the biggest reasons why we live near our parents and why we live here and have always lived here is because we want our kids to have the same experience that we did and so like it's not uncommon that my parents or even mike's parents they do that all the time they'll be like hey can we have the girls for the night we're like sure <laughs> and it's just it's kind of nice it'll be like a random saturday they'll go over and hang out with our parents and it just gives mike and i a breather you know and that's exactly what i say it's like you know you're so busy during the week and on the weekends we like to do a lot of fun stuff with the kids and sometimes you just feel like you never get caught up or you never get a chance to just sit still and breathe and when they go to our parents it's like a win-win for everyone because grandparents get to spend quality time with the girls um the girls love it because it's fun and then mike and i get a little breather and sometimes we will do nothing like sometimes we'll go on like a date night go to dinner go to a baseball or hockey game sometimes we will literally just do nothing and just sit at home and watch netflix because we just don't want to go anywhere and we want to relax um so it's nice that i get to actually clean and give back to them in some way but do you guys like my new little mopping booties i think cambria from living with cambria if you guys watch her youtube channel she i saw her have these and and my house it's kind of easy to be able to mop and work around where i mopped but in their house since it's all hardwood it's a lot harder for me to do that and i get a lot of like people are like don't walk through your where you mopped but the only reason why i have to is so i can move the camera around like sometimes i'll push myself into a corner into a room when I'm mopping and then I can't get out or then I can't move the camera to get like a good shot for you guys so if you ever see me step in my mop or where I mopped that's why I'm trying to get those good shots better say something that will change my mind Gotta give me something Cause I'm not blind
It is also kind of peaceful because I go there, I clean, my parents went to dinner with some friends, so I was all alone, it was dark, I had no distractions, like I didn't have to, you know, worry about trying to get done because the kids needed to be put to bed or anything like that, so it is just cozy to be able to clean in a quiet house. So it is another day of cleaning, me just trying to tackle whatever messes I have in my home. It actually wasn't too messy, but I wanted to vacuum the stairs. So I find with the stairs, if I don't vacuum them enough and kind of fluff up the carpet, the carpet in the middle specifically where we walk down the stairs tends to get more matted down and it becomes more slippery. I've slipped a couple times, so I've been trying to keep up on vacuuming the stairs more frequently. But I am curious. I asked this, um, I think in another video, but something, I, I are, do you guys watch like YouTube shorts or Instagram reels? I've been doing more of them just because they're, it's kind of fun to try to do a cleaning video in a minute when I'm so used to long form content. And I truly still love long YouTube videos. I think it's like... Like, I hope you guys put me on your TV or your phone and we kind of clean together. Like, I think it's fun to know that we can, you can put me on and we can clean for 30 or 40 minutes together. But then the one minute videos are nice just for like that quick little burst of cleaning motivation. And it's kind of like a, a challenge for me to see what I can do in a minute and things like that. But the reason why I was thinking about this, I want to start doing more YouTube shorts because you know, people are constantly asking me, like, what video did you clean your mattress? What video did you deep clean the girl's closet? What, or, you know, what video did you take apart your shark vacuum and clean it? And so then I have to try to think, okay, what video is that in? And then I always have to go through the video, find it, and then send it to you guys. And then you guys have to kind of find it as well within the video. So I was thinking it would be cool if I could do more like how-to videos, like how to clean your Dyson, how to clean your shark cordless vacuum, how to clean your window trackings, like things like that, how to clean your garbage disposal, or even um, recipes. Like I have a crock pot recipe at the end of this that ended up being amazing. Like I think my girls ate it for three days in a row and I posted it as a reel. So when I've been filming, um, my crock pot meals, I've been also filming them for reels because in that way, when you guys will message me and say like, where's your crock pot macaroni and cheese recipe or chili mac macaroni and cheese recipe, I can be like, oh, just go to my reels. It's right there. And then you can find it because I always label my reels. So if you go to the reels tab on Instagram. So I'm thinking about doing that more on YouTube. Would you guys be interested in that more of like, you would just have a playlist or a place to go because there's now a tab for shorts on um, each YouTube's page, YouTuber's page. So like, for example, like right now, if you see me cleaning, you know, let's say my car in this video, let's say I was cleaning my car and you're not cleaning your car right now. So you're like, okay, great. I have some good ideas. But then in three months when you go clean your car, you're like, oh, what video of Jamie's was that? And now you could just go to the YouTube short page and find if I made a short on like the top cleaning tools for cleaning a car, you could get it a lot quicker. So let me know if you guys would like seeing that type of stuff.
So here I just wanted to finish up our bathroom and then I had I think two or three loads of laundry to fold and then I was going to make that crock pot chili mac macaroni and cheese and like I said I think my kids have gotten really really picky lately eating and I mentioned that in a more recent video and I got some tips which was really really helpful helpful and it's just tough because Avery specifically never used to be picky. She was always the best eater. Now she's very picky and I'm seeing the twins are picking it up from her. So I would say that the twins were never picky either, but they learn behavior from big sis. And you know, it's also hard with the twins because they do everything together because they're twins. And so naturally they are their own people with their own taste buds and their own preferences. And so if one says, I don't like this. Like for example, Addison loves chocolate milk. Emery does not. This is not an example of food, but just trying to give you an example that I can think of. They, Addison does not like white milk and Emery does not like, or Addison likes white milk, but just not very much. Emery does not like chocolate milk, which I think is so crazy. But as soon as one says, I don't like it, the other one just follows suit and says they don't like it either. And so I've really been trying to try as many different recipes as I can to make them try more and make them more adventurous and things like that, but it's been a little bit difficult. But this chili mac macaroni and cheese, they all loved. So I will have the full recipe linked in the description so you can follow it along, but this is it. This is all the ingredients. So I just browned some ground beef, put it in the crock pot, and then I poured some a can of diced tomatoes and a can of tomato sauce and some chili powder and pepper. And someone had asked me if it was spicy at all because they said that that seemed like a lot of chili powder. And I mean... My kids all eat it and they don't necessarily love, they don't hate spicy food, but we do not expose them to a lot of spice. I don't think it's spicy. Mike didn't think it was spicy, but my three-year-olds ate it. So I don't think it was too spicy. So you just kind of create a meat mixture in there. You let it cook for, I think like an hour or two, just so it kind of bubbles up. And then you boil your noodles. It's just easy. You don't it's easier to boil your noodles first on the stove top then you pour in the noodles and then I think I put in a cup of shredded cheese and then you mix it all together and let it cook for maybe a half an hour or until the cheese melts and there you go so yummy so full of flavor and just really really good 